Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to see how we can display SharePoint list data using detail list control in SPFX web part. So this is a fluent UI control that we can use in a client shared web part. So we will we'll create a, a basically a react application if you are trying to do this example and because the code is on the react. So basically what we are going to see here is you can see we have created a web part like this there is a little heading and then there is a image column and then there is product name, customer name, uh, customer email, order date and product description is like this you can see here. Now uh, so if I will open the SharePoint list basically there is a list that I have created for this you can see customer name, product name, order date, uh, product description is there and then product image is there. So this is the data that we which we will uh, will get it uh, and then we will bind in our web part. If I'll show you, I have already developed this web part. So if you'll see here, this is the web part, and you can see this is a, a heading. There is an image. If you'll click on that image, also it will open, and then there is uh, uh, the other columns that you can see it here. So uh, this is how you can we this is what we can develop it. So I'm not going to create uh, the complete uh, project for this. I have already created the project. Uh, even I will put uh, in the video description a, um, a link where you can go through and see, uh, you know, how you can create all these three steps. Uh, even I have explained how to deploy it. All these things is there in the video. So I'm not going to waste time on that. We are not going to build a web part from the scratch. Um, so I, you can follow that link. And also this project that whatever I have, uh, uh, I'm going to explain here the link will be available in the video description where you can download. So basically there is a blog post that I written over here you can see this is the blog post and if you scroll down you can see uh, this is the download link and once you download it just run an PMI then your uh, project will be ready. And also you can follow this uh, tutorial basically uh, there are two ways that I have explained how we can uh, display the item this is a way where you can uh, bind the items by using normally HTML and then uh, REST API I have explained this is no JavaScript framework but the other one is you can see this is the complete example which is based on the React framework. Now let, it, let me go through that code so okay in case if you are interested to learn SharePoint I'll put the link also in the video description where you can enroll for the complete SharePoint development training. Now, uh, so if if I will go, I will I will just scroll to the render method. You can see here. Okay, by the way, this is the structure of our web part. When you will create a, a React application or a web part client side web part, you can see here uh, there is the web part dot cs file where we have uh, I have added the web URL because this is the URL we required. Uh, to retrieve the items from the SharePoint list and for that I have the properties I have added here a string property as well. Now your .tsx file or the component file is the main file here and uh, you can see this is the detail list I am using. If you are new to uh, this Fluent UI, uh, I will put some link at the same time you can see here um, if you will go to uh, this is the Fluent uh, page basically Fluent you can just uh, search it for Fluent UI it will come up here and then basically you will come to uh, this screen when you will search for it and then you can see wave and then controls you can click here you will be able to see various controls so if you will see items and list you will have the detail list control so here you will get the code even so you can go through the description how we can use it and then you can see there are various other options as well so you can click on show code and you will be able to see the code how it is um, how it is they are using and then you can follow the same process now coming back to this over here you can see the items this dot state dot items I'll show you where we are getting the items and then columns what are basically the columns that we are to add here in this particular case you can see we have a image file and then product name customer name and then all these column names. So and then you can see if you want to header visible to all these things you can do on render item column so there is a method that we are calling here. Now if I will show you first where we are getting the data, here we are getting the data you can see uh, on the component will mount method I am calling um, get data method in the get data we have the properties so basically we can get the URL 
and then this is the list name and then if you want to get uh, the email and uh, title you can see email and the name of the employee you can see you can get like this in uh, you can see and then we are adding all the items to uh, to the data and you can see here then this sort set state item data basically when you will do that then it will uh, change the state basically it will bind it and then uh, next thing what is there is the columns so how what are the columns basically we are adding if you'll scroll up here these are the columns basically you can see uh, const uh, columns and then we have product image there is no name that is name is blank and that is the reason you cannot see a header over here there is no name on this and uh, then you can see for other things we have uh, the name key name and then field name what is the field name that you are going to bind for this and if you want to resizable true then it will uh, be resizable so you can uh, scroll it uh, so same way these are the columns that we are adding okay and uh, the next one is the on render item column method this is basically uh, if you want to add anything onto this for example in this case if you'll see uh, we are we have uh, this column is clickable so when you we are clicking on this uh, the image is opening you can see here this is the url now for that uh, you can see we have uh, if it is the product name then uh, uh, this is the hyperlink you can see a href so i have added target blank so that it will open in a new tab and then this is the source and the same way if you want to give some link to any of the columns so you can have it you can put a href like this else uh, directly you can uh, put uh, email or the date whatever it is so else you can if you want to do some styling you can do that inside a spam tag you can do so this is what uh, how we can uh, use that method so and also the format date this is a small uh, function that i have added uh, so that the date will be formatted properly it will come in a uh, in a readable format you can see here this format it will come which is month date and year um, this one and uh, for that format i am adding this you can see here month day and year so that is what we are doing so this is how we can uh, bind it so as i said you can download the um, download the project from the article i'll put the link in the video description you can also follow and then you if you are ready with your uh, uh, with your requirement then you can deploy it so you can package it and then uh, it will create a spp kg file and then you can upload that to your either to your site collection app catalog or you can you, you can upload to your tenant catalog and anywhere they can be able to add this web part provided make sure the list should be there the column that whatever you are using it should be there so this is how you can work with uh, or you can display the SharePoint list item uh, list uh, items in a SPFX client side web part uh, by using a details list so if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos on spfx power platform sharepoint office 365 all these videos you will get it free so thank you and have a nice day